is the range country, where the pounding hooves of untamed horses still thunder over mountains, meadows, and canyons. Every herd has its own leader, but there is only one fury. Fury, king of the wild stallions. And here in the wild west of today, hard-riding men still battle the open range for a living. Men like Jim Newton, owner of the Broken Wheel Ranch, and Pete, his top hand, who says he cut his teeth on a branding iron. Wild as Fury is, that's the one human voice he's learned to love and obey. The voice of the boy who once saved his life, Jim Newton's boy, Joey. Here's a mutual trust and affection that everyone can understand. Especially a woman like Helen Watkins, Joey's school teacher and unfailing champion. Kneel down, let me get on you. And there they are together, a great wild horse and the only person on earth who can ride him, Joey and Fury. Something's hurting him. I wouldn't go near him, mister. He doesn't like strangers. Steady, boy. Don't, mister. Steady, boy. Steady, boy. Steady, boy. Steady. Quiet down now, fella. I'm not going to hurt you. Quiet down. That's a boy. That's a boy. I think I found his trouble. Steady, boy. Steady. There. It's out, fella. You'll be all right now. Gosh! Got a wood splinter rolling around the corral. Gee, thanks, mister. It's all right, son. You're the first stranger Fury ever let touch him. Is that so? How come a dude like, I mean, a city man like you knows so much about horses? We have horses where I come from. My name's Joey. What's yours? It's Sam Wilson. Glad to know you, Sam. And I'm happy to know you, Joey. Joey! Joey! Come and get it! I'm on my way, Pete! Sam! Sam! How about staying for lunch? Pete's fried chicken's the best you ever tasted. Well, thanks for the invitation, Joey, but uh, I better not. There'll be plenty. Pete says he always cooks too much of everything. Well, I... Come on! I'll tell Pete to set an extra plate. Well, all right. Good! Yes. Well, if it is up to that boy, he'd drag in every down at the heel, fell in the state and feed him. I just about had it. Just so much a man can take. What are you grumbling about? Jump and gee, hold of that. Never sneak up on a man like that. <laughs> I never knew you were so touchy, Pete. Mm, I got a good reason to be slaving away in the kitchen here just to feed a road tramp. What are you talking about? What road tramp? You should see him in there, shoveling it down like there wouldn't be a tomorrow. <laughs> this is a second batch of chicken I'm cooking. Oh, I know you. You taught Joey that charity begins at home, but why does he have to get me in on the egg? <laughs> yeah, just so much a man can take. So when Fury countered a ten with his hoof, Frankie Watson had to give me his pearl-handed jackknife. Boy, was he sore. Hit it a beauty? 
Isn't it a beauty, Joey? Hi, Jim. I'd like you to meet Sam Wilson. He's my friend. Glad to know you. My pleasure. Yeah, sit down and finish your meal. I, I want to apologize for barging in on you like this. That's the least you could do. Oh, cut it out, Pete. Mr. Wilson is Joey's guest. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to excuse Pete. I think he's been in the family too long. Well, I, I certainly want to thank you for the wonderful lunch and a chance to clean up a little, but I better leave. Well, what's your hurry? Here, have some more coffee. I should be on my way. Are you going anyplace in particular? No. How'd you two meet, anyway? Well, Fury was giving me some trouble, and Sam here quieted him down just like that. Pulled a splinter right out of his back. First time Fury ever let a stranger come near him. We well, must have a way with horses. I've been around him a little. I've been uh, thinking about putting on another Wrangler. You can have the job if you want it. That's great, Jim. I'm afraid not. You'd be doing me a favor. I'm a little short-handed right now. Well, I... I don't know. Please, Sam. I'd sure like to have you around. Said you weren't in a hurry to get anywhere. Well, I, I guess I can stay for a while. Oh, boy, that's swell. Good. Pays 150 a month in your board. Joey, take Sam down to the bunkhouse. Yes, sir. Oh, and report back to me when you get situated. I'll have Pete find you some work clothes. Okay. I hope I work out for you. You will. Come on, Sam. Sam's working for us now, Pete. I got ears, ain't I? Jim Newton, have you gone loco putting on a hobo to wrangle your stock? I have a notion he may be more than a hobo. You're darn tootin' right he may be. Like a murderer, for instance, or a maniac. <laughs> You've been reading too many mysteries, Pete. All right, laugh if you like. But I'll have the last laugh when he kills us all in our beds. <laughs> you know, if you weren't such a good cook, I'd fire you. Yeah, and if you and Joey didn't need me around here so much, I'd quit. Sam Wilson. What's the matter with your horse? Henry Kine is just acting up. Jim! Howdy, boys. Howdy. This is Sam Wilson. He's going to work with you. Glad to have you with us, Wilson. We can sure use you. Thanks. Well, i got to be getting into town. I'll see you later. Sam, the boys will tell you what to do. Right. Where are you from, Wilson? Nowhere in particular. He don't look like no wrangler to me. Cut it out, Al. Fact is, mister, you got the looks of a dude. I don't think he knows one end of a horse from the other. Don't pay any attention to him, Wilson. He talks too much. Come on, you stubborn devil. Move. Oh. Hey, you better get off that horse. He's in pain. Shut your mouth, dude, or I'll set it for you. <laughs> All right, what's all of this about? He slugged me. So I saw it. Why? Watkins had it coming to him, Jim. He was giving his lame horse a bad time. Steady boy. Steady boy. Let's see what's wrong with you. Steady boy. Quiet down, boy. Let's see what's wrong with you. I don't believe what I'm looking at. There, fella. It's out now. You'll feel better. Rock splinters can be pretty painful. We're very obliged to you, Sam. It's all in the day's work. You saved us some trouble. You're not working for me anymore, Watkins. You can pick up your money in the morning. What did I do? I don't like wranglers who mistreat my horses. I get. You better catch up with the rest of the herd, Corky. Right, Jim. 
Oh, Sam. Yeah? You know, you're the second man I ever saw who could walk up to an agonized horse and quiet it down. Really? Who was the first? A man named Taylor. He's the veterinarian around here. Is that a fact? Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Well, I guess I better get into town. I'm half an hour late already. Get riding, sir. Come in. Uh, hello, Jim. Hi, Ben. Sit down. Thank you. I came in to sign that petition. Well, you'll be the first one, Jim. It's being typed. Harry Canfield's due here any minute with it. Good. Believe me, it'll be a privilege to be first. Now, maybe we'll get some action on that water preservation bill. Well, it'll take a petition with a lot of signatures to stir those lawmakers into action. Hmm. Looks like interesting reading material. It's a new list of wanted felons sent in by the state police. Oh, uh, excuse me, Jim. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sheriff Davis speaking. Yes, Canfield. Oh? Yeah, sure, that'll be fine. Yeah, thanks for calling. That's, uh, that's quite a who's who. <laughs> Run-of-the-mill stuff. Oh, say, Jim, Canfield tells me that petition won't be ready for another hour. Want to wait? Hmm? Oh, no, I, uh, I can't wait, Ben. Well, I'll run it by your place later. All right. Anything wrong, Jim? No. No, there's nothing wrong. King, please. You in. I clean forgot. I gotta go and feed the livestock. <laughs> Another game, Joey? I'd rather you told me how you whipped Al Watkins. Who told you that? Corky and Fury and I don't like you. Hope you whacked him good. Well, that's enough of that, young man. It's past your bedtime. Aw, oh, it's still early, Jim. March. Okay. And don't forget, you promised to show me how to curry Fury without him getting all nervous. First thing in the morning, Joey. Good night, Jim. Good night, Joey. Well, Sam, how do you like ranch life? I like it fine. I've been thinking, though, Jim. I better move on. I thought you just said you liked it here. That's just it. I like it too much. I figure the longer I stay, the better I'll like it. As long as I have to leave sometime, it might as well be now. It'll be better that way, believe me. You sure that's the only reason you want to go? What other reason would there be? I can think of lots of them. One in particular is that you're on the run. Who would I be running from? The law. Do you know who I am? Yes, Doc, I do. A man who can do as much with horses as you has to be a vet. There are lots of vets. Lots of vets, but only one Dr. Brown. I happened to see your picture in the sheriff's office this afternoon. Said you were wanted for manslaughter. All right, so you know. All I know is that you're running, and you're not the kind of man who runs. I suppose you want to know why. If you want to tell me. The circular was right. I am wanted for manslaughter. Because a man died while I was trying to save his life. A jury might not think that was a crime. A horse doctor operating on a human being. But I had to operate, Jim. The man was dying. I had a choice. I could stand by and watch him die or do what I could to save his life. You could have explained all of that. Sure, I could. But what difference would it have made? Performing surgery without a license is a felony. I knew what the answer would be. Technical manslaughter. 
Do you think running is the answer? You can't run from yourself. Maybe not. But at least I'm not in prison for doing something I know in my own heart I'm not to blame for. It's the sheriff. For some reason, I didn't think you'd turn me in. Well, I guess it's too much to expect sympathy from anybody. You have my sympathy, Doc. I didn't turn you in, and I'm not going to. But only for one reason. Because I think it'll go a lot easier on you if you turn yourself in. And if I don't, I'll catch you anyway. Oh, evening, Jim. Evening, Ben. Come on in. Howdy. I, uh... I brought that petition for you to sign, Jim. Well, that's fine, Ben. Thank you. I'm Sheriff Davis. I, I don't think I've ever seen you around before. Sheriff, this is Sam Wilson. He's new around here. I just put him on for a few days to help me wrangle the herd. He's moving on. Oh? Where are you from, Sam? Oklahoma. Mm hmm? Where are you headed for? North. I see. Sounds like Fury. Jim, something's the matter with Fury. Oh, he's probably just having a nightmare, Joe. You go on back to bed. Fury's ailing. Looks pretty bad. Jim. Get Ed Taylor on the phone. Oh, he's a Desmond. Tending a foal. Won't be back till morning. that you'd save Joey's horse. Then you would have lost your ranch, Mr. Newton. If that horse dies, it'll break Joey's heart. You know that, don't you? Kids' hearts don't break that easily. He'll get over it. The boy believed in you. Look, the sheriff's in there waiting for me to give myself away. If I save that horse, I go to prison for 10 years. Well, I'm not going to prison because a boy believes in me. Joey. Sam. I 
I think it's pneumonia. I'll need a mustard plaster and lots of blankets. I want to try and get his temperature down. Pete? Thanks, Sam. You'll find a black bag in my suitcase, Sheriff. Will you get it, please? Sure. Careful, there's surgical instruments in it. I hope you can wait, Sheriff. As long as you want me to, Sam. You're gonna be all right now, Fury. How's it look, Doc? Who administered to this horse? I did, Doctor. Well, this man saved Fury's life. I didn't know there was another vet within 200 miles of here. But you do look familiar. My name's Brown. Samuel S. Brown. Of course, Dr. Brown. I've read many of your fine articles in our journal. It's a privilege to have you here, sir. I hope you intend to stay for quite a while. I'm afraid not. As a matter of fact, I was just leaving. Happy to have met you, Doctor. Pleasure's all mine, sir. And if you ever get back this way, I'd consider it an honor if you dropped in on me. I'll do that. Thanks for everything. Sheriff? Sam. A jury can't be too tough on a man who tries to save a life, even if he loses it. You've done a lot of good around here. Thanks. So long, Fury. Joey's a fine boy. When he wakes up, tell him I'll be back someday. Something wrong, Jim? No, Doc, nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. you said. The jury was kind. Hey there. Jury wants to say hello. Hello, fella. <laughs> You're gonna stay here with us, aren't you, Sam? I'm afraid I can't, Joey. You see, I've been appointed head of animal husbandry at State University. Gosh! Well, that's wonderful news, Doc. Even though their gain is our loss. Sam! Hiya, Sam. I mean, uh, Dr. Brown. Nice to see you looking so good. Thanks, Pete. You ain't leaving right away, are you? At least you got time to try some of my fried chicken, Dr. Brown. I wouldn't miss that for anything in the world, Pete. Lead the way. 